Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be going through the Auto Pairs plugin by Zhang Miao. I, I hope, I, I probably butchered that name. Uh, it's a simple plugin that allows you to insert uh, a pair of quotes or parentheses or brackets by only having to type one. And I should actually probably uh, start screen key uh, by only typing one of them and uh, without the need of typing both. Uh, so it works with single quotes, uh, double quotes, it works with uh, back ticks, it also works with all the other parentheses, brackets and braces. Uh, it doesn't work for the less than and greater greater, greater than signs because I just assume that, uh, well, we usually do just type these in isolation versus having a need for pairs. So uh, if you're doing HTML, you just need another solution. Uh, next uh, we have is triple quotes and uh, the triple double quotes as well and also the, the triple back ticks which it does come in, hand, uh, come in handy if you do something like Markdown or like Python uh, these are for Python, these are for Markdown I don't know why you use these but it is something that comes in handy uh, if you type say a parenthesis on this line and press enter the next line gets indented and the closing pair gets put on the, the next line so it allows you to just write faster uh, especially if like you're doing C or something this is very, if you've used an ID or whatever they usually do this by default so this is how you would uh, do it in Vim with uh, not much difficulty uh, it's worth noting now that uh, you usually can just make mappings to do the auto pairing for you but there's a, a particular feature of this plugin uh, which made me install it versus using my own mappings. Um, so first, uh, before we get to that particular feature, let's uh, go through the, the minor details. So by default, it knows to ignore escaped characters. So if you try to, if you type like backslash and any of the characters I've done before, it won't automatically close them. So this makes typing, uh, let's say, quotes within quotes in some languages, uh, you know, not as intrusive. Uh, next we have, uh, say I wanted to type the word I'm, so I apostrophe M. You just do it as you usually would. It knows to ignore uh, the, the order pairing when it's inside a word. So if you're typing a word and you just put a single quote, it won't automatically close it. So yeah. If you did, for some whatever reason, uh, want to completely disable uh, the plugin, you can do meta p or alt p. So that's alt p. It will uh, disable. It'll, it'll toggle the state. So right now it's enabled, and I disabled, and I enabled it again. So that's how you can enable and disable the plugin quite easily. Uh, another thing it offers is. Say I'm typing something in parentheses here, and uh, well, if I'm still in here and I type in close parentheses, it just it it, it doesn't put a new one; it just puts me off to the parentheses, and that is uh, uh, pretty useful, I guess. If you're also inside the parentheses and not like directly before it, and you do press closing parentheses, it will just jump uh, to the end of the the nearest closing parentheses. But if I do something like that, it obviously won't jump anywhere because it won't find it can't find a, a nearest closing uh, square per, a square bracket okay uh, what else do we have I'm trying to think of forgot anything oh yes fast wrapping so let's say this word I have here I actually want to surround the whole like the, this whole line I want to surround it in uh, double quotes usually you have to type one yeah and then go to the end of the end of the line and then you know type one yeah and uh, the plugin adds a useful mapping. So when you're in insert mode and your cursor is in this exact position, in the middle of uh, both of the, the quotation marks or, or brackets, whatever you want to surround the thing in, just type Alt E and it moves it to the, the end of the word. So in this case, it, it moved it all the way to the end of the line. But uh, usually, if I, um, if I just <laughs> remove those, Usually, if I do this and Alt E, it moves to the next word. And uh, yeah, 
So that comes in useful. Uh, again, it works with like all the all the pairing things. So even parentheses, uh, it'll work for all the all the auto pairs. It works. Okay. So uh, the reason I really do keep this plugin around is because of a feature called fly mode. Fly mode, which is uh, disabled by default. You have to go to your VimRC and uh, type in this uh, let g auto pairs fly mode equal one to enable fly mode and what it does is um, I've got a a different buffer over here uh, to demonstrate what what it does so let's say we are positioned uh, here and I type in square bracket nothing really happens it inserts a square bracket and uh, that's the end of the story but with fly mode enabled um, if I just get this with uh, fly mode enabled, if I type in square bracket, what will actually happen is it jumps all the way to the nearest square bracket, which uh, is pretty cool. It comes in uh, more handy than you would think, especially, in, uh, and I know this is not a valid JavaScript, I just, maybe, yeah, actually, no, again, it's not valid JavaScript, we'll, we'll stick with that. Uh, it comes in handy with these languages that use a ton of braces and parentheses and you just need to jump somewhere quick. Okay, uh, so as mentioned, uh, so if I do square bracket, it jumps to the nearest closing square bracket. If I do, uh, say, curly brace, it jumps to the nearest uh, curly brace. If I do parentheses, I'm sorry, if I'm in here, if I do parentheses, it jumps there to the next one, to the next one. Uh, you, you get it, you get it, I'm sure you do. And then uh, say I'm in fly mode and I actually wanted to insert a square bracket here, but it just jumps. What you can do is then press Alt B, which uh, I think stands for a mistaken jump back or something. It will just jump back to where you are and actually insert the character uh, that you typed. So that's why if you want to do that. And then another mapping which works both in insert and in normal mode is uh, meta, B, uh, meta N or Alt N. So if I do Alt N, it finds the next closing pair of anything. So if I press Alt N again, it finds uh, that parentheses, and then the next one, the next one, and the next one. So pretty useful. Uh, that's actually it for the the plugin. Again, it's uh, if you want to install it, uh, just do. If you have a Vim plug, it's as easy as this. Um, if you've got any of the other plugin managers, you know how to install plugins. But yeah. Uh, that's about it. Oh yes, one thing I forgot to mention was uh, the example I had here with uh, and uh, the text, whatever. And you could Alt E to do this. Uh, I usually don't do this much. I use another plugin called Vim Surround, which is built for that sort of thing. So if I wanted to surround this whole thing in, uh, say, double quotes, it's as easy as saying uh, you surround a paragraph with double quotes and it surrounds the whole thing with double quotes um, even this line is it's easy to surround so I don't usually use the alt e mapping uh, that much only when I'm uh, really really lazy but yeah uh, that's for me. that's it for me uh, cheers